Good morning, awesome people. I'm David. This is Final Touch Auto Detailing, and thank you for stopping by. If this is your first time, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're not ready to do that, give us a thumbs up if you will. That would be really awesome, and it helps the channel out a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. All right, behind me is a brand new Chevy Silverado Z71 Trail Boss. It's a pretty awesome truck. You want to come along and check it out? We'll show you some of the dirties on it. There's, there's a few of them. A little bit dusty and dirty inside, not too terribly bad and a little bit of bugs on the outside. So today we're gonna to get the tornador out, we're gonna blow it out, we're gonna vacuum, we're gonna use a steam machine, I'm sure, and we're gonna do an ONR, a rinseless wash, on the outside, get everything cleaned up, looking good. That way the owner can ride around and no matter where they go, they're gonna look great getting there. All right, so as far as dirt, you know, it's just, it's dirty, it's a white truck, sometimes white and kind of really makes everything stand out when it's dirty, sometimes it just looks like you know a, a darker shade of white but it's not too terrible in there got the i don't know what's down the side we're going to start cleaning on it and we'll find out we we'll get those wheels and tires cleaned up a little bit carpeted wheel liners if you're not using a pressure washer to blast those out i feel like compressed air does a terrific job i've already started pre-soaking these buggies on the front with some optimum no rinse and water and a little bit more dust and dirt over here step bars or running boards whatever you want to call them they're a little bit dirty uh, the light might be washing that out but yeah we got a lot of carpeted wheel liners are great for two things two things only Collecting lots and lots of dirt and keeping the sound down whenever you're traveling down the road. Knobby tires like that, they definitely create some road noise. Not looking too bad back here. Got a little bit of dust and dirt back in the back end. Uh, inside the little door pockets and door handles, a little bit of dirt, not too bad at all. This shouldn't be as bad as the last video. That last video had quite a bit of dog hair and such. We'll get all the stuff cleaned up down there. Of course, the driver area is usually a little dirtier because, you know, you're the driver. A little bit of dust and, and such in the center console cup holders, that kind of thing. A little dust up here. Hey, this is real world detailing. We don't do stuff that's been sitting around for 30 years. I know that's probably awesome to see that big of a change, but more people are paying more for cars and you know we want to keep them looking good and taken well care of. So as a whole, people are really into making sure they stay on top of it. And they're either doing it themselves or they're calling somebody like me. So just kind of the same over here, only not as bad. We'll zoom you in a little bit, let you check that out. It's just dirt. I mean, even inside here is not bad at all. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe three or four hours on this vehicle. We're going to get you up on the tripod, let you watch what I'm doing a little bit, if that's what you want to do. If not, heck, skip to the end and see what it looks like when we're done.
down for my love if you feel like I do right now don't say you're on the run to the other side my love you say you want to try but you never do sugar there's a
Alrighty guys, we're just going to start right back here. Um, there was a lot of tar and such on the sides, got all that cleaned off. Blew out with a tornador the wheel wells because they're carpeted. I mean, when you use a pressure washer, you make a lot of mud and I just feel like we have better results. With compressed air. Got the wheels clean, barrels clean, barrel portion of the wheels. Running board all cleaned up. All the junk out of the door jams. Now right here there's a, um, a factory plastic, like a little protector, really doesn't do that much. I don't want to peel that off, but there is dirt underneath there. Uh, the owner might not want that peeled off. Getting on around in here, we had the floor mats out, blew everything out, cleaned the floor mats, three or three aero space on those. Keep those looking good. Took everything out of here. Uh, we even cleaned the mud off the bottom of their golf shoes. They might not notice that. They might, but that's just the little bit extra I try to make sure I do. I mean, maybe they'll notice that next time they go put it on. And they'll be like, thanks, Dave. Uh, those mats also let the camera get in focus. 303 aerospace after we got them cleaned off. Of course, 303 aerospace on all the plastic on the inside. Uh, we used some McGuire's hyper dressing, uh, four to one, in case you're wondering. And then went back over them with a very light degreaser to wipe them off again. That way it's not slick. I'd hate for somebody to put their foot up here and just go flying. That would suck. Hey, if you think she's looking good, you've made it this far, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. You don't have to hit subscribe yet. You do, you do that next time you watch because I know you'll be back. I know some people have told me that's, they're comparing me to folks that drag things out of the woods. I don't do that, this is the real world. There's nothing wrong with that. Those folks are making money too, good for them. Got nothing against that, but this is what I do. Uh, what you see inside the, of course this truck is pretty much brand new. I don't even know how many miles are on it, but it did have some dirt. And then when it's white and you've got dirt, stands out like a sore thumb. I don't know, do sore thumbs really stand out that much? Let me know. Center console was not really all that dirty, but we did have some stuff in there, got it cleaned out. Make sure you can see down the bottom. That's just another spot, I wanna make sure I hit it. I'm trying to be thorough. I want it to look really good for you. All right, so I'm gonna quit yakking because I tend to do that. A little bit of a tight spot there. Pulled up in the front of my garage. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna quit yakking. I think, uh, think something like that might be a good thumbnail. Maybe. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and uh, thanks for stopping by.